Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. This article here is coming from The Revolt, speaking about the man paralyzed in the 2017 Astroworld Festival, says he's heartbroken for those affected in the recent tragedy. Well, I tell you, the more that this thing keeps going, the more things we get to find out. Kyle Green suffered injuries and is partially paralyzed following the 2017 event. Yeah. You know, and, and, and I, I'll be honest, I don't rock with Travis Scott, but just to know that these are the kind of things that he's been a part of doesn't make it any better to hear about it, knowing what just happened just this past Friday. As victims recount their terrible experiences at the 2021 Astroworld Festival, they've earned sympathy from many, including a man who is forever scarred from attending the Travis Scott event four years ago. Man, that's fucking, that's wild as shit, man. As Rolling Stone reported, 27-year-old Kyle Green went to Astroworld Festival in 2017 when it was being held at Terminal 5 in Manhattan, New York. While at the severely crowded event, he was among a rowdy pack who allegedly forced him over the railing and onto the floor. He suffered several bones in his vertebrae, becoming paralyzed after the tragic incident. Damn. Six months later, he took legal action against Scott, his manager, a security company, and promoter Bowery Presents. Hmm. Boy, I tell you, this is some real tragic shit. So what this is showing is that this is not the first time something has happened. And that's the worst thing, you know, to know that this is not the first this 2021 incident might not be the last. In the 2017 suit filed in Manhattan Supreme Court, Green accused the defendants of recklessly removing him off the floor without taking safety precautions. Scott denied the claims and countersued the man. Scott got some nerve to do some shit like this. That's so fucked up. Because he's part of the problem. So how the fuck is he going to shift blame? placing the blame on the venue management and security guards for their handling of the fall. After Green heard of the news of the tragedy that went down at the Astroworld Festival on Friday, November 5th, he released a statement through his attorney, Howard Hershenhorn, expressing that he was devastated and heartbroken for the families of those who were killed and for those individuals who were severely injured. Kanye West dedicates Sunday service to Astroworld victims. There you go, Kanye. Green, who was in a wheelchair after the 2017 festival, can actually walk now, but with significant, significant disability. He's partially paralyzed still. Hershenborn added before sharing his own thoughts on what led to eight fatalities and countless injuries after the event's first night. His desire to rile up the crowd beyond hysterics where people are pushing and shoving has resulted in massive catastrophe. The attorney said of Scott, it's time for him to do some significant self-reflection. And you know what the thing is? He's the ringleader in all this. You know, uh, since this happened, people have been going back, trying to figure out who he is, watching his videos. And what he tells people at times is, hey, fuck security. Bypass them and come up here. So while they're sitting there and they're hopping over railings and getting past, getting through security... People are getting hurt, people are getting trampled, people are getting injured, and Travis Scott doesn't give a fuck. But every dog has his day, and Travis Scott got a whole world of shit that's going to be tossed at him in the next coming weeks. So, this is fucking unbelievable. This dude's so fucking irresponsible. I don't even know where to begin with this, but... I'm about to be coming with some more videos throughout the day. You guys stay tuned. And as always, it's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. And I'm out. Peace.